What is the measure of the reflex angle PQR drawn below? What is the measure of the reflex angle PQR drawn below? Now we have PQR this side and PQR on this side. So we have two angles. This angle is called PQR, okay? PQR. And this angle here as well is known as PQR. But the question is saying reflex angle okay what is the measure of the reflex angle pqr now what does it mean by P, uh, reflex angle pqr it means angle which is greater than 180 degrees or a, an angle which is bigger than 180 degrees is known as a reflex angle so we want to get the angle which is bigger than 180 degrees from the look inside here this angle is less than 180 degrees and it is not the one which you're looking for it is the one on the out the outer one now this is a point Q and one thing we know about angles at a point okay they add to 360 degrees meaning this angle out here and this angle inside here when you add them together they'll give you 360 degrees so what we're going to do is we're going to get this angle because it is very easy to get this angle using a protractor okay and then whatever we're going to get subtracted from 360 to give us what is remaining so first thing we are going to put uh, our line PQ to be horizontal, okay, like this. Now, like this, it's going to be very easy for you to put the protractor. Now, PQR, Q, the point Q here, this is the vertex, okay. Now, if you have your protractor, this is our protractor, okay. What you're going to do is you need to make sure that your vertex or point Q is here where these two lines meet. See this line and this line where they meet? This is where your point Q should be. Okay? So let us put our protractor here. That is the first thing. And then you need to make sure that one of the lines, either PQ or QR, lies on the zero line. Okay? So in this case, PQ is the one which is going to lie on the zero line. So you see, PQ, and look at the line zero, where zero is, you see? So the line uh, zero is exactly on top of PQ, okay? So now if you want to measure this angle here, it will be now where we start with zero, 10, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, and 135. See? So from 0 up to 135. So our angle PQR on the inside is 135 degrees. Okay? 135 degrees. Now, you don't use the outer the outer scale because now we have the inner scale and the outer scale the outer scale uh, if you see it's starting from 180 170 no way you can't use this one you need to use the one which starts from zero if you want to use the outer scale it's very easy again just put the line qr to be horizontal okay line qr is, horiz is horizontal now and then put your 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 protractor on the the vertex or the point q and like i said in the beginning make sure that this line these two lines where they meet it's exactly placed on point q okay point q is the vertex and then now you can use the outer scale because now the outer scale is starting from zero it's going all the way up to here see this is where our line p is so still we are getting this is 130 and this is 135.
okay if you extend this line it will reach up to this point here and you're supposed to extend it okay so it's 135 now that we know that our angle PQR on the inside is 135 degrees we can get the other one it's going to be 360 degrees minus 135 degrees okay so uh, 0 minus 5 not possible so you borrow 1 10 minus 5 is 5 and then here 5 remains 5 minus 3 is 2 and here 3 minus 1 is 2 so our reflex angle PQR on the outside is 225 degrees which is B.